And we are pleased to be joined by Trey Mancini of the Baltimore Orioles, who makes our list the top 100 right now, even though he missed all of 2020, coming back from colon cancer. What an incredible story. Trey, good to see you. So many of your fans watching this right now, they want to know how are you feeling as you get closer and closer to the 2021 season? Thanks for having me on, guys. Um, yeah, I'm feeling great, uh, as, as well as I could have ever imagined um, when I got diagnosed almost a year ago. Um, so I'm back in Sarasota. I got here last week, um, and it was definitely a little strange to come back at first because this is where, um, you know, I had my colonoscopy appointment, found out that I had colon cancer, and, and um, you know, that really, you know, got things um, – going last year and and um yeah i feel feel so good to be back and and i'm feeling really good hey trey it's ron darling i went through my own scare a couple of seasons ago myself and and you know baseball is the kind of game out of sight out of mind but what i really took from it is how many people in the baseball community reached out to me i'm sure it was the same for you how did that make you feel it was incredible. Um, that really helped make a, a really tough time in my life a lot better. Um, so many people reached out, so many players, so many front office people, um, and, and just so many, so many people. And it was incredible to um, receive the support I did. And it really helped give me strength in a, a tough time. It, it was not an easy time at all. I'm not going to lie, but I'm um, getting the support of, of everybody, especially, um, you know, all the great fans in Baltimore and my, my teammates really helped me get through it. Trey, hey, man, it's Sean Casey. Man, I look back to your 2019. What a great year you had, man. 35 home runs, close to 100 RBIs. But you kind of bounced around a little bit. First base, corner outfield, maybe a little DH. Where do you see yourself coming into the 2021 season as far as what role do you want, uh, what position do you want to play? I say it every year. I'm good to play wherever they want me to. <laughs> I, re I really am. But uh, I grew up my entire life playing first base. And, um, you know, spring training in 2017, I, I knew that I'd have to probably play another position to make the team. So um, I had a crash course in outfield then and, and have been playing out there since. And I really have loved it. I've loved getting to learn how to play different positions. But um, as far as, you know, my fit and where I think I played best, I'd still say first base. But I also love DHing. I really do. Um, I know some people don't like it and can shy away from it, but I have no problem DHing. Um, you know, hitting is definitely my favorite part of baseball. Um, but but I'd say first is probably the best for my skill set. But I also do really enjoy playing the outfield. So wherever they need me, I'll be there. That's a good. That's a good answer, bro. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Wherever, wherever I can, wherever I can get in the lineup, right? You know, it's funny. It's so. It's it's amazing because you you seem like the young guy the other day, like Trey Mancini, yeah. the good, good young Oriole. And now it seems like now you're like the veteran guy. You're not even 29. You'll be 29 in March. But there's a lot of good young players coming up in that organization, especially a guy like Adley Rushman who's coming up. What do you? What role do you take on this? this spring training for, for for some of those young kids coming up? Yeah, it's definitely strange, and it happened quickly. Yeah, I made my debut in 2016, and I was one of the youngest guys on the team. And um, Chance Sisko and I were talking the other day here with that besides uh, CD, Chris Davis, were the, longest, were the two longest tenure guys in the organization, I think, which is crazy to think about. We got drafted in 2013. So um, I've definitely tried to propel myself into more of uh, a veteran presence, and, and um, I try to help guys out with – whatever they need help with, um, whether, yeah, that be, um, you know, how things run at the major league level. I've had some guys ask me questions about their, the 401k plan and what they should do. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I would have gone into finance or something in college, um, I, but I was not a finance major, but I try to give them the best advice that I can. So, um, you know, whatever they need me for, I'm, I'm here for them. You know, Trey, uh, for the first time and forever, you got to watch a lot of games last year and watch the Orioles. I did, too, and I saw a lot of good things. Not only a team that plays hard, but it's got a lot of young talent there. Did you see the same thing? I did. Uh, it was so strange to watch, you know, baseball every night because I'm always out there playing. Um, but I watched a lot more baseball than I ever have my whole life, and I was so encouraged by what I saw last year um i was so proud of the team and the way they played and and um you know every night they were in just about every game and it was so fun to watch and and it was really exciting and we've got a lot of young guys coming up that i think approach the game the right way um when you make it up to the major leagues you can't be scared you can't be timid you got to go out there and show everybody what you got and and leave it all out there and i think they did a really good job of doing that last year and we've been talking about how your role is changing on this team on the field. How is your role in generating awareness for colon cancer? 
Yeah, so it's obviously um, be become near and dear to my heart. So um, I recently started a foundation um, that my sisters and, and girlfriend are helping me run. And um, yeah, so we're just really trying to raise um, awareness for colon cancer. And we're doing some other things, basically any cause that we um, really want to get behind, um, we're going to do that. And but colon cancer is a huge part of it. So, um, you know, so many people don't know that a lot of young people are getting colon cancer now. And, and that wasn't the case 30, 40 years ago. So, um, you know, especially if people have family histories and things like that, um, you know, they, they need to get checked and, and screened. And, and um, you know, I, I want to prevent what happened to me for anybody else that I can. Great advice. So excited to see you play again. Yes. We missed you on the field, <laughs> Trey Mancini. Uh, congratulations on making our list, beating colon cancer. And uh, stick around. I'm also going to ask you about 401k help. I do need some help. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, all right? <laughs>